welcome to this video guys in this video i will show you how to model this fourth link of the robotic arm in solidworks so let's begin first open a part file click part and click ok because we are working in a part file make sure that you have selected mmgs as units because these are in millimeters change the background to plain white now click on this top plane click on sketch from here select the midpoint line the benefit of the midpoint line is that it works in both direction make a line like this and make relation as vertical select the midpoint line again and here make a line like this press escape button select the line and make relation horizontal now i'm going to make each of these line as construction geometry by selecting this option select this line make it as construction geometry and now these are for references and now select a simple line guys and make a horizontal line like this press escape button now press control button select this point this vertical line and this point of the line and make relation symmetric and now this line is symmetric about this vertical line now here specify the dimension the length of this line and select this line and this line the distance between these two lines we have to specify it 45 now press escape button now I need the same line here so I will mirror it if you want the this line if you find difficulty in mirroring you can make the same line in this window I will select this line and the same line is mirrored here so we have both of the option either you can make this line or either you can mirror it here select the three point arc first point second point and the third point here now i have to define the radius of this line so select smart dimension and specify the radius of this line 125 select mirror entities in this window i will select this arc mirror about this vertical line if you find again difficulty in making this mirror you can make the same line on the other side select extruded boss base guys and here specify 100 millimeter as the length of extrusion and uh, here the sketch was fully defined check this box right click here and edit feature here just specify blind rather than mid plan uh, mid midpoint or mid plane in blind there is only one direction in mid plane the extrusion in both directions so specify any color you like and now guys select this face and click on sketch and here select this convert entities and in this window select this face select this whole face check this box and here you can see guys this whole face has been converted into a sketch now go to features select extruded boss base and here specify the length of extrusion as 10 as I want an angle this is called as draft angle so here specify 45 and here let me show you some problem this should be blind rather than mid midpoint so you can specify here blind and let me show you the extrusion without draft and with draft this is the benefit of using the draft feature guys you can extrude things at an angle so select this face now and click on sketch select this circle and make a circle at the origin now specify the diameter of this circle I'm specifying here 69 go to features extruded boss base and here specify 10 millimeter now select this select this face and click on sketch again and make a circle again this time a smaller circle specify the diameter of this circle so I would specify here 62 go to features extruded boss base and here specify the length of extrusion 30 millimeter check this box from here and now guys select this face and click on sketch again and here's select the center line from center point to this point make a 
horizontal center line make sure that this is horizontal by specifying your horizontal relation now I would like to specify the length of this center line because I am going to use it use it as a reference so 27 millimeter select a circle and make a circle at the corner of the center line and here specify the diameter as 4 because I want to cut this hole by 27 millimeter away from the midpoint so that's why I have made this whole thing and check this box from here by specifying the depth of extrusion and now guys I want the circles these holes around this edge so I would select here circular pattern in this window I can select either this circular edge or this circular edge make sure to select edge and not the face and here specify how much holes you want in this window features and faces definitely I would select this hole this one and here you can see the hole that appeared you can increase and decrease the number of holes by either specifying here or either specifying from here right guys hope it makes sense make sure that equal spacing is selected and check this box and here we have it we will complete the rest of the link 4 in our next video See you in the next video.